everyone's up for revenge. And they're turning it into a sick holiday game. This is weird. We're all tagged, and our names are at the table. But why us? Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review. I just got done seeing the new horror movie, Thanksgiving. Um, this was directed by Eli Roth, who made movies like Hostel, uh, Cabin Fever, Hostel 2, I believe. He did that one also. I know he didn't do Hostel 3. Um, and he did that movie, Knock Knock, with uh, Keanu Reeves, which I never saw that one. I heard it was pretty bad, actually. Um, but I've seen, you know, the Hostels, and I've seen uh, Cabin Fever a long time ago. And uh, he's a very good director, obviously. You know, horror is like his, uh, his main uh, motif. And um, if you guys are familiar with Grindhouse back in uh, 2007, where uh, Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez made a double feature, um, Planet Terror and uh, Death Proof, there was a bunch of fake trailers in between both movies. And Thanksgiving was one of the trailers. Obviously, Machete was one. Hobo with a Shotgun. You know, those all turned out to be movies. Um, later on and this is the case here obviously many years later they finally you know made a thanksgiving movie and uh i gotta say if you saw the fake trailer um back in the day it was very you know grindhousey obviously very over the top and uh this movie wasn't um grindhousey per se but it was definitely over the top it was it was a great time it was very fun actually um i had a great time watching this movie um basic premise of the film um, one Thanksgiving night, um, essentially a Black Friday preview night, I guess, something goes terribly wrong in a small town. And a year later, someone is out for revenge. Um, and I gotta say, um, I'm a fan of small town movies. I like, I love small town settings and, you know, the characters and whatnot that, uh, that inhabit small towns. I, I don't know. Something about small town movies is comforting to me. And, um, this being a horror film set in a small town was very fun and it's uh, obviously a mystery because you don't know who the killer is and whatnot um there's some tributes to other horror films in this as well um the main one being halloween literally the opening shot of this film is a tribute to halloween and of course halloween and thanksgiving are holidays so now we just need a horror movie called christmas you know <laughs> i know we have black christmas you know uh, but they should just make one called christmas you know um yeah this movie was very fun so Lots of gore, you know, lots of great kills in this. Um, it's another thing you need to know, too, when you go into this movie, do not take it seriously, okay? There are serious moments in the film, um, but overall, this is definitely a cheese fest, okay? This is very cheesy. Um, the acting is all pretty much very good. You know, I didn't really see any bad performances. Um, the main actress, I thought she did a great job. Um, you got other people in there, like uh, the biggest name in this movie is Patrick Dempsey. Everybody knows him. He was very good as a town sheriff. Um, you got other people in there. Uh, Addison Ray from TikTok or whatever. She was one of the, the girls in this movie. She was okay. You know, everybody was good in the movie. Uh, Tim Dillon, the co comedian, he was in this. I didn't expect that. Um, I think I watched the trailer once and I just didn't really remember, you know, who was in it, you know. Um, so there's a lot of great kills in this, like I said. A lot of great gore, a lot of great practical effects, you know. I don't think there was um, any, like, CGI really, you know. Um, so definitely go check this out if you're a horror fan. It's a great time, like I said. I'm not sure why they didn't just release this next Thursday. Well, technically next Friday. You know, movies come out Thursday night, obviously. Um, next Thursday is Thanksgiving, so, like, I don't know why they didn't just release this next week, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, I honestly don't have much else to say. Um, this is a very good movie. You know, the killer reveal at the end I thought was pretty good. Um, and I guess, um, well, I don't want to say too much. Um, there could be more, you know, there could be more movies if they wanted to. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I like, I liked all the characters. I liked, you know, the setting and everything. I thought it was you know, a totally fun movie. My audience had a great time, you know, um, a lot of people, in my audience actually. And, uh, I'm glad I went to see this cause I originally wasn't going to see this, but then I thought about it. I'm like, you know what, let me check it out. You know, I want to support horror movies. You know, I don't really go to horror movies quite as often as I should, to be honest, in the theater. Um, and Eli Roth, of course, is, you know, a, a pretty notable director at this point. So, yeah, um, I'm totally blanking on, like, what other movies he made. I think he made, um, 
Didn't he make that house in the clock, the house with the clock in its walls with Jack Black or whatever? Didn't he make that movie? Yeah, he made that movie, I think. And he made other stuff. I just can't think of it. Um, but yeah, like I said, not much else to say. Definitely give this uh, a watch. It was a great time. See it with an audience, you know. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, as a rating, I think I'll give it like a solid 8, you know. This is not any groundbreaking horror classic or anything like that, but for a fun time and totally enjoying the entire experience, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I thought the pacing was very good as well, you know. Um, and like I said, the best aspect of this film is all the practical, <laughs> gory effects. Like, it was very well done. Um, and there's one moment from that um, fake trailer that's very infamous, and it is in this movie. Um, kind of remixed a little bit, but you probably know what I'm talking about if you've seen the fake trailer. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, that's really about it. Um, 8 out of 10 for me. Very solid film. Very fun. Um, definitely check it out. So um, that's really about it. Uh, I don't know what else is coming out soon that I'm going to be seeing. Um, I know Aquaman comes out in December. I'm, I might not see Aquaman. I don't know. I, I didn't really like the first Aquaman, so I don't know. The rest of the year just kind of like Wonka, you know, the Willy Wonka movie. I had high hopes for that when they announced who's playing Willy Wonka, you know, Timothy Chalamet, which, you know, I'm a fan of his, but the trailers don't really, I don't know, something about it don't look good to me. So I might skip Wonka. You know, I might skip Aquaman, so, um, I don't know, I don't know what else is coming out this year, I'm just totally blanking, but, um, if this is my last review for a while, I'm glad I saw this film, and, like I said, it was very fun, so, um, let me know your thoughts of the film in the comments, um, I'm not really gonna do a spoiler section, I don't really need to, I don't think it's even worth, you know, discussing, really, um, it's pretty straightforward once you see the film, you know, so, um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments, and how would you rank Eli Ross movies, I'm sure he hasn't made you know, too many of them, I'm pro probably less than 10, if I had to guess, um, where does this rank for you, and should I check out some of his other stuff, like I said, I've seen the first two Hostels, um, and I've seen uh, Cabin Fever a really long time ago on uh, TV, um, but yeah, that's really about it, so thank you guys for watching this review, and have a good one, bye-bye.